and he used to rush that and then rush your scout patrol. God, there's another one. I thought Planet was my friend. I revere the planet and this is what it does to me? You have friends like that. Talk to the progenitors, whoever they are. What's a progenitor? I don't know. Finally captured it. Trying for ages. Feels very weird, never usually on the side of the planet. Hmm. Ten credits, that's it. Now, if the hive are the logical um, progression, the logical conclusion of uh, Plato's Republic, uh, and they are, uh, heathen refers to the ideal polis as a hive of places, and um, it's actually quite nightmarish if it was uh, looked in the context of a modern democracy. Then uh, the free drones are, are Marxist and led to its logical conclusion, I imagine. I don't know, what do I know? I just study political science and the history of political thought. So. Um, yeah, these are the uh, these are the socialists of the game. Don't outright communists, I imagine you could say. Um, led by Foreman Demai, who used to be a talent, then got mistaken for a drone and was uh, got hit in the head and mistaken, then mistaken for a drone. And it's a bit. Um, a bit messed up really. A bit dictatorial as well, apparently he used to be a nice guy and then this uh, treatment he underwent when he was a drone made him into a nasty fella or mistaken for a drone. Australian don't you know? And also an interesting fact, if he was uh, if he was actually real he would, according to the uh, databases uh, that the game provides for these these characters, they're all there, just look them up on the uh, stuff like, he is alive today apparently. Uh, he'd be one, he'd be about one. Uh, perhaps one and a half. It's, uh, at, at his birthday, in around about, uh, about 2011, I think. Not that they knew at the time that we'd actually get to 2011 when they made this game in 1999. So, one of the few characters to actually be alive if this game were real, if you know what I mean. So he wants the uh, yeah the emancipation of the working class. Imagine there is a working a uh, sustainable proletariat on a a planet with a few thousand skilled colonists, but you, you know, there must be some somewhere. Uh, so this, this, this represents that plus two industry, uh, as you'd expect. Minus two research, which you probably wouldn't, you'd probably go for minus two economy or something, but that's covered with the hive. Minus two economy, uh, they don't go for blue sky research. Um, that's an irritating one, revolting bases tend to join the drones, so we have, have an unhappy base, they'll go towards them and make them a little bit more powerful, and you have to go to war with them to take your own bases back. Not that I have a problem with that in this game, very aggressive. Uh, and minus one drones in every base, that's an opposite of, um, it's an opposite of uh, the university, they get plus one drones, and kind of like the uh, peacekeepers get plus one talent. But then again, uh, free drones don't go for talents, they go for, you know, talent, they go for contentment and a good life for drones. Interestingly, they may not use green economics. I would have thought of several policies they may not have used, being the uh, socialists that they are. Uh, sort of free market, they would have preferred plant, I imagine. Um, 
green makes sense. What about the wealth choice for um, for values? You can't value wealth if you're looking to spread it all. Unless you're creating wealth to spread it out and you're sort of adapting the free market in such a manner as to uh, provide for the lowest. Actually, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is uh, green not using green economics. Uh, I was going to say something else pretty interesting, I think. Uh, oh yeah, their favourite tech, it doesn't say it here, but their favourite uh, social social engineering policy is eudaimonia. That nice, pleasant one in a uh, later game. If you don't go for that, they won't like you. Yeah, but other than that, they're fairly easy going, unless you... Yeah, fairly easy going. Uh, you've got to watch out for them. Pro that plus two industry means they get a lot of wonders and they can build troops and everything very quickly. And uh, in many respects, quite the opposite of the cult of planet. I don't imagine we'll get on. Well, that was fun. I, I certainly enjoyed that. What's he got to say for himself? Non-committal. Oh, charismatic. Well, that's nice. I don't mind being called charismatic. Uh, if I make tales of exploits, as to myself, I remain form and demise of the drones. My intention is to free the enslaved working classes from their oppressors. Power to the people. His might is pathetic, mine is wanting. I think wanting better than pathetic, but... Yeah, right. Um, yeah. yeah, why not? Oh, was submissive. Hmm. I don't stop now. He's uh, built a base. I wonder who wants the peace treaty. Duplicitous swine. Out of the way. Got which full scent set uh, native life forms to be abundant. I'm not doing very well at capturing these mind worms, am I? Away. Go on, get out. Manipulative demagogue, after all. It turns out it was his capital that was blocking the way. Playing aggressively. Hey! Hey! Actually, recon rover.
No, not right now. Oh, we'll get less energy as well. Started in the wrong location. Yeah, get those drones working for me. Planets, profit the new guy for integrity faithful. I'm not surprised really, but uh, it's a shame nonetheless. I do like to keep a good reputation. You missed that because it was um, the tape ran out, so to speak, the digital tape. Uh, I won that battle. Damaged that uh, ochre, whatever it's called, ogre even. It's not the most terrifying name. So it's named some sort of flower. Let's see if we can get that best in a larval mass. I'm just about. Caretaker research. Who are the caretakers? Nobody knows. Well, somebody might do. 